All right, guys. Today I'm going to show you my uh, Maxpedition little, uh, well, it's like a little fanny pack looking thing, but it's uh, it's in my car. It's in my glove box, in my glove compartment in the car. Uh, I don't know. People call it different things. Everyday carry, EDC bag. I mean, it stays in my glove compartment. Some people actually, you know, no offense to other people. It's that's what you want to do, but. Other people actually carry all this stuff with them all day long, you know, with the mentality that you're not with your vehicle all day. So, you know, if you can't get to your vehicle or whatnot, it's, you would have this stuff on you. I don't really see needing half this stuff without the vehicle, so just keep it in the glove box. I'm probably going to do another review, separate review, just on the pack itself. Well, not a pack, it's a little bag. It's the Maxpedition Janus uh, extension pouch. A little extension for another bag. I'll probably do a uh, separate review on that. But for today, just show you what's in my little EDC bag in the car. So let's check it out. All right, first you got on the outside. I don't know if you guys can see this, but on the outside of it. Well, on the bottom, got a glow stick, green. Obviously, for light, whatnot. Even the kids, kids are in the back seat getting traffic or something. Snap it open, give it to the kids to play with. Can be handy that way. Uh, what else we got? We got a pen. It's a simple, I think, a big, big pen. Um, this guy. This guy's cool. It's a splash flashlight. Comes in a little hook, a little carabiner hook. I got it clipped on here. Yeah, I got it unscrewed now, but just a little little mini light. And then it also has an SOS uh, flashing function. There you go. Just a little cool light. Keep on the outside. What else we got? We got a knife tucked in here. Sog, it's a Sog Escape, Sog Escape knife, once again, well, it's a nice knife, I don't know that I'll do another review on this separate, but real nice knife, feels good in your hand, just, it's a nice knife, has a little punch in the back, the little window break punch, seat belt cutter, belt cutter in there, so, we keep that in the bag. Uh, that's it for the outside, really. Uh, let's go inside. See what we got all on the inside here. I'm actually going to flip it around. All right. We got some travel medicine. Tiny little things of travel, uh, stomach crap. Tylenol. And... Moving on, got a little fire rod, you know, you strike it, you can strike it with the back of the knife actually, create a spark, start a fire, actually have a piece of tinder tucked away in the back, in the back on screws there, got a piece of tinder in there, hey, never know, of course we got lighter, regular old big lighter, but lighter blows up in the car in the summer, or it doesn't work, something. Got a fire rod. What else? Purell. I happen to be a germaphobe, so <laughs> even if you're not, I guess it's good to have. Clean your hands up. Germs, germs, germs. So keep that in there. I mean, it's good. To, you know, half this stuff I had already floating around my glove compartment, so just organized it in a nice little bag. But either way, got the Purell. Uh, we got chapstick. Always need chapstick. Obviously, it's cold for your mouth. Or in the winter, you're having a problem lighting a fire. You could actually use this to light a fire. Burns really good. Um, what else? Got a little flashlight in here. What a ridiculous, ridiculously long lanyard on it. I mean, you can do whatever. Just put it around your neck. So... 
it's a streamline micro stream. Streamline micro stream. And you just depress it. You just hold it down. Oh, you see. That's it. A little tiny light. So, what else? We got this guy. Probably gonna think I'm nuts. We got this guy. I don't know if you can see it. A little outdoor sewing kit. Once again, probably never gonna need it. Something breaks, especially in the winter. Whatever. Your boot, your pants, you gotta sew something up. Your bag. Not this bag. It's a nice bag, but your backpack, your tent, whatever. It fits in there, so we put it in. Now, what else we got tucked back in here? Not going to take it out of the bag, but little AAA battery holder, store cell, and I put them back, you know, little battery holder comes inside this bag. I just put it back in the, you know, kept it in the bag to help keep it more waterproof. So we got that. We got some, some wet naps for your hands. Like I said, germaphobe, just in case the Purell might run out. What else? What else? Got a Fresno lens. And a little credit card size, a little Fresno lens. Once again, start a fire. I can't see too great. Help you read stuff. Um, what else? Got these little storage bags. They can hold water. They have little Ziplocs on the top. I got them folded over now, but you can fill them with water. Whatever else you may need. Do a couple of those in there. Of course, like I said, got my America, America wet wipes, America wet naps in there. They live in there. And if we flip it around, I don't know if you guys can see. Got a pen. I actually stuck it in. It's a little tag up here. Made in Vietnam. A little tag for the Maxpedition. They stuck it to write in the rain pen. You know, could write, obviously, could write in the rain. Could write wet. Could write upside down. So, got one of those pens. In case the other pen obviously doesn't write when it's wet. Got a write in the rain notebook. You know, that, that, this actually, I've always had a, not this one, but I've always had a notepad in the car. I mean, you get an accident, you want to exchange information, got a notepad. Car breaks down, you want to leave a note, put it on the windshield, don't tow my car, please. Whatever. Got a uh, notepad. If you're going to a different location, want to leave a family member, somebody a note, write a note. So, we got that. What else we got? We got emergency thermal blanket. I think there's actually, I don't think it's four in here. Mylar blankets, four. Obviously, got a family. Want to keep keep more than one. Um, believe it or not, wait for wait for it. You ready? Got more wet naps in here, and I actually got some Benadryl. Tucked away in there. Never know. This is just a little mini first aid kit that I made myself. So, oh, if I didn't tell you guys, I'm going to link all this stuff. I'm going to link it all in the description below in case you're interested in getting any of this, you know, any of this stuff for yourselves. But um, this guy I made myself. I think I took some of it from other first aid kits. Wound seal, I think I probably got myself. I don't recall, but basically band-aids. It's nothing, nothing special. A couple scrapes, cuts and scrapes. The bag, though, the bag's made by Lock Sack. I don't know if you guys can see, but Lock Sack. It's like a little Ziploc bag, but this thing is water. I mean, it can float down the river for days. It's waterproof. And they come in different sizes. I'm going to link this, once again, in the description. I love these bags. What else? What else we got? We got a tiny, tiny mini roll of duct tape. Fits in here perfect. Once again, I mean, duct tape. Come on. Tons of uses for duct tape. Okay. Now this is the part where you're going to say, I, I know what you guys are thinking. The fuck is that? Yeah! Survival fishing kit. Compact fishing kit. 
Are you gonna need this? No. I mean, most of this stuff's gonna help you, you know, help you get home in the event car breaks down and whatnot. Mostly, like I said, most of it's just, most people having their cars already, just keeping organized. So yeah, you're never, probably never gonna need the little fishing kit in your car, but don't know, once again, if you're a fisherman, who knows, your car gets stuck, you live near water, you wanna go catch a polluted trout with two tails, fry him up, you got the option. I had the room, I could even fit more stuff in here. I'm gonna do a review of this bag. It's, it's pack, whatever you wanna call this, little fanny pack thing. It's actually, it's a really good bag. There's tons of room in here. I mean, look, all, all this stuff fit in this bag easily. So, compact fishing kit, that's there. Oh, you know what else? Actually, last thing way down the bottom here, I got a spoon, fork, and knife. I don't know where I got this from. To be honest, I do not know. Looks like a cheap camping, probably came with a cheap camping uh, cook set or something, but look, little can opener. Not bad, so once again, I mean, <laughs> a silverware set fits in the bag all the way on the bottom easily, so I'm going to do a review of this bag and all its pockets in uh, another video. But yeah, everything, even this guy, is going to be linked in the description below in case you want to check any of this out. Add it to your EDC. It'll be down in the description uh that's about it for now so thank you guys so much for watching it's my very first uh, video here actually <laughs> on this stuff so thank you guys so much subscribe like go comment that's it send it to your friends i really appreciate all the support thank you very much